Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today I'm gonna show you how to unroot your HTC One M8. Okay, before we begin, um, make sure that your battery's at 75% charge or more, just to make sure it doesn't die unexpectedly in the middle of this. Uh, this will erase all the information on your device, so anything you wanna keep, your photos, etc., just make sure they're backed up before you start. Uh, this will only work on a PC because the program I'm gonna use, the toolkit, is made for PCs. And on your device, make sure to go to settings, battery manager, and turn off fast boot to make sure that it uh, will completely turn off when we actually turn it off. If you don't turn that off, then it won't turn the phone completely down when you power down, it'll actually just suspend it. Next, you're gonna head to the developer's page by clicking here. And we're gonna click on the one 2014, the M8. And you're gonna download the latest version of his toolkit and save that to your desktop. Then if you don't already have WinRAR, we're gonna click on that link and download whichever version of WinRAR is for you, whether you have 64-bit or 32. Click on that, save that to your uh, desktop, then run it so that you install WinRAR um, because we need it to be able to open up the toolkit. Okay, then we're going to right click that and hit extract here. And you can double click that folder and double click the .exe file inside to open our toolkit. Pull down notification shade, tap on settings, scroll all the way down to developer options. If you don't have developer options, click about, click software information, and keep tapping on, well, tap more than keep tapping on build until it tells you you are a developer. Then you will have developer options after that. Okay, scroll down and turn on USB debugging. Plug your device in via USB. In the toolkit, we're gonna click git var all and hit do command and click okay. First command window will pop up and the device will reboot into bootloader mode. Once it does, you can close the first command prompt and you'll get your second one with all the information you could ever need. Um, we need, for this, we need the CID number. So right there, write that down and then the version main number, write that down as well. Okay, then you're gonna click on this link here. to be taken to the very helpful XDA post um, by this guy, um, who was very kind of doing this. Uh, and everybody's kind of been submitting their uh, backups that they made when they were stock. So that's what we're actually gonna use, someone else's backup to get us back to the stock firmware. Now normally you would use an RUU, to do this, which is like a ROM update utility, but HTC no longer gives those out for some odd reason. So this is kind of the only way to do it. So you're gonna scroll down and under stock Android backups, you're going to try to find your first CID. So in my case, it was CWS001, and then match your version main underneath. Now mine only has one, but there are some that have different versions. So make sure that whichever one you download is for your CID and also your version main. So I only have one, I'm gonna click on that. And I'm gonna download that to my computer. And wait for that. Then we're gonna unplug our device. And boot it back into regular mode by using the volume buttons to select reboot and power to actually choose it and wait for that. Then we're gonna plug it back in so we can transfer files to it. Then we're gonna right click the um, stock file that we downloaded and hit extract. Then we're gonna double click it just to make sure we have all of these in here, which we do. And we're gonna open up a Explorer window and open up our HTC One M8 into the internal storage. Uh, depending on what custom recovery you have, it'll be in a different place going to be for clockwork mod slash backups if it's clockwork mod or fills touch um, for twrp which is what i have it's going to be twrp slash backups so twrp backups double click that as well and you'll see here is my backup that i did a long time ago we're gonna grab this one and drag it in there just so it looks just like that once it's done we can unplug the device and we're going to turn it off and turn it back on by holding down volume down and power until we get to this. And then we're gonna 
push volume down again to select recovery, push power to actually select it. Now, here we are in our recovery. We're going to hit restore and we're gonna choose the one that we flashed onto here or transferred onto here. And we want all of those things. Swipe to restore. Once that's done, hit reboot system. Um, if this pops up and says it's not rooted, just say do not install and wait for it to reboot. Once it's rebooted, you should be on your stock firmware. Now you're gonna go into the app drawer and just scroll through here and make sure you don't see super SU um, or super user or any of those files because um, that would mean you're still rooted. Mine luckily isn't, um, but some of those backups apparently are. So to remove that, we're gonna go back to that handy XDA thread, scroll down to the question and answer section and you'll see this unsuper user file. Click that and download that and save that to your desktop. Then we're gonna plug our phone in again. So we can transfer that file to it. And you're gonna go into the HC1, into the internal storage. And it doesn't have to be inside any folder in here. In fact, just put it down here at the bottom. And once that's done, I'm gonna go into settings. Scroll down to battery manager. Scroll all the way down to fast boot, turn that off. And while you're in here, you might as well go about, software, information, more, keep tapping on build number until it says you're a developer. Keep hitting back, go to developer options, click okay. Turn USB debugging on. We can unplug the device. And again, turn it off. Turn the device back on by holding down volume down and power. Then push volume down to select recovery and power to actually choose it. Then in here, you're gonna tap install for me up a level. And you're gonna find this unsuper user zip, tap that and then flash it. And once it's done, you're gonna hit reboot system. And if it does ask you this again, hit do not install. Then we're gonna plug the device back in a USB and even though now we are on the stock firmware uh, and we're not rooted anymore we still do have a custom recovery and a locked bootloader so first we can take care of the recovery and to do that you're going to uh, go back to that handy thread so I'm gonna download the latest one for my version so I know I have this 112 502 so I'm gonna do 112 15 as long as the first two numbers match, that's what's important. Save that to the desktop. Then we're gonna rename this to just recovery, so that it's recovery.img. We're gonna click your own recovery, flash recovery, click okay. Wait for the device to boot into bootloader, then close that, select the recovery, hit open. Then you can close that command prompt and it'll tell you that it's done. You can hit OK and you now also have a stock recovery. Okay, leaving the device plugged in, we're going to boot into regular mode. So scroll down, hit reboot. Then we're gonna return to S on. So we're gonna click that. So then we're gonna click do command, hit OK. Wait for it to reboot the device. Then close the command prompt. Once that's done, it should now say S on at the top of your device there. Okay, then we want to relock the bootloader. So we're gonna click that, hit do command, click okay. Wait for it to reboot the device into bootloader. Close the first command prompt and wait for all of that to do its thing. And the device will reboot. And once it reboots, you're going to close this command prompt. And we can unplug the device and Hold the power button to turn it off. And volume down and power at the same time to turn it back on. And now it'll say relocked. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus. It's the unlocker with the E missing in the word unlocker if you're into such things. And as always, thanks for watching.